Okay. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you again, as always, for being here. I hope you all are well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, Genesis is front and center. I saw your comment. I didn't have time to read all of it, but I will answer all of your questions. Hello for those of you who already are familiar. Welcome back. For anybody new here, welcome. I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my cooking class. I am not a professional chef. I am just a boy mom and a home cooker. I have two teenage boys. I have been on a health and wellness journey. My whole life I've struggled with weight, but over the last three years I've gotten control of it. 
by working with a metabolic specialist. And in her office, I was tested for food sensitivities, which was a cheek swab and some hair samples. So I basically work with a list of foods that I can have. And then I have a list of foods that I have to avoid. I'm pretty much sugar-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. Excuse me, but everything that I teach you in my class are things that I would cook for you, things that I want to eat, things that I hope you would want to eat, even some special requests like tonight. Excuse me. Um, you can cook them for the family. You can cook them for yourself. You can use the full flavor ingredients. Please do and have some for me. I will always use the substitute ingredients, but I'll walk you through every step. We have a request for tonight from one of our scholars who's missing cheese pizza. So I have a pretty easy substitution for that. I'm going to show you. All you need are eggs, cheese, and the pasta sauce of your choice. So you can get those now or we'll get them together. Whether you're watching live or whether you're watching the replay, thank you for being here. Whether you love to eat like me, whether you love to cook like me, or just want some meal ideas to, you know, break up the rut, you are most welcome here. I am your teacher. You are my scholars. The live chat on YouTube is the study hall. Feel free to pass notes, take a bio break, ask questions. We help each other. Uh, I'm also a student of the lead attorney, and um, I've learned so much from his course. So if you found me from TLA, thank you. We are the happy and wholesome side of YouTube. So family friendly, all are welcome. All right, so I'm going to take attendance and then we're going to get started. If you have questions, let me know. I will try to answer them as I go. But usually what I do here is I cook the food, and then we eat together, and I answer your questions. So the second half will be the chat and chow. If you don't want to watch me eat, you can stop after the cooking portion. If you do want to watch me eat, you're welcome to stay. Whether you announce yourself or whether you like to ninja watch, all are welcome here. Um, I am maintaining a 79 pounds weight loss with at least 20 more to go. Um, and I try to only eat when I live stream for you all. You hold me accountable so that I can age gracefully. It's very important to me. I'm 46. For the first 43 years, I had the standard American diet. So God willing, the next 40, I'll be here cooking it up for y'all. So let's go ahead and take attendance and then we'll get started. Again, all you need is egg or your egg substitutes. Um, whatever shredded melting cheese of your choice, pizza seasonings, pasta sauce, whatever toppings you like. Oh, and a waffle maker. All right. Mona, as always, is here. Mona, the moderator. Thank you so much for helping me. Oh, yeah. Caudel is excited. Pizza. Did anybody say pizza? Yes, we're going to be making pizza and whatever little snacks y'all want to make. Uh, hello, Monique. Thank you so much for being here and being present. Hello, Padilla. Welcome to class. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, we have Suzette Speaks in the house, y'all. Class, we've got a classroom visitor. All right, everybody, be on your best behavior. No. Please check out Suzette Speaks. She's also a YouTuber, a great content creator, as lead attorney would say. Um, I did a collaboration with her several weeks ago, and uh, she was so gracious to me. I actually did a live cooking demo. Suzette, like a lot of us, is trying to, you know, just make better choices um, in increase the amount of plant-based foods in her diet. So I made a veggie quesadilla for Suzette and a dessert now called Lead Attorney's Fried Apples, but I was trying to give her a dessert um, option from Whole Fruit. So Y'all, please check out Suzette Speaks. She's a TV host. She's a YouTube host. She's an attorney. She's amazing. Genesis. Yes, so Genesis is one of my day one scholars. Any of you all who are here before Maggie, the substitute teacher, is monetized, we're still very small, um, but growing very quickly. 
Um, Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only four months old. We have over 1,200 subscribers. I am your teacher. You all named yourself the uh, scholars. So we are very close to getting monetized, keeping an eye on our watch hours. I still haven't looked, but we're over 3,500. Thank you all so much for being here. If you have a YouTube channel, if you have a business, if your kids are behaving and you want to shout it out, please let us know and we will support you. All right, everybody. I think I got everyone. Oh, yes. Please check out Suzette Speaks. Thank you, Mona. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So Genesis asked for pizza. So Genesis, I saw your comment. I didn't see all of it. I'm going to go through the steps here. Uh, I'm going to make two little mini chaffle pizzas. If you're not familiar, a chaffle is a cheese and egg waffle. You can make them sweet. You can make them savory. Tonight, we're going to make a savory version. Ah, I just got a picture. Ah, I sent some happy mail to someone, so I'm excited about that. So I'm going to start, as always, by cleaning the counters, putting on my uniform, and then washing my hands. I like to clean before, during, and after. Even if it's just me, you just never know, so I prefer to be safe. Oh yes, please, y'all check out Mona's Kids channel. I think they just had a video about learning to swim, especially in the summer months. Uh, pool safety is very important, so please check it out. Hello, Erin, Laura. Oh, you're here for the pizza party? Let's have a pizza party. I love that. I absolutely love that. Nothing gets kids more excited than a pizza party. Man, you could buy them for a quarter, a cheese pizza, and an elementary school class. Uh, all right. Washing my hands. Yes, let us know how we can support you. I know we've got people that are running for charity, um, whatever. You guys are here to support me, so I want to support you. Absolutely. Washing my hands. Okay. So... I am going to make these pizzas in the air fryer. You could do this in the toaster oven. You could do it in the oven. So this is a two-part recipe. It's still very simple. We're going to make the chaffles in the waffle maker, and then we're going to make the pizzas in the oven. So we're going to have a substitute for our pizza crust. If you can have dough, please have some for me. I am gluten sensitive, so I have to watch the breads. Um, you can also use the cauliflower thins, but I'm going to show you guys how to make your own. You're a big kid. Yeah, let's have a pizza party. I want to know, what does everybody eat on their pizza? I'm kind of old school pepperoni and mushroom. So we're going to do one pepperoni and mushroom. It's going to be turkey, pepperoni, and mushroom. Um, just got to get the ingredients out. And then one cheese pizza. All right, let me turn down the air because this light is hot and I'm old. going to get my uniform. <clears throat> and y'all know we have Maggie merch, lots of Maggie merch. I'm wearing the white apron with the Maggie logo. I did put a little, let's see, this is in the Zazzle store, so you all can see there. If anybody wants to check it out, give me some feedback. Let me know what else you'd like to see. So this is the uh, white apron. It's got a what is this? Adjustable neck. It's a nice sturdy linen. It washes well. It comes in multiple colors. Um, oh, Snuggles is here. Snuggles, you don't eat pizza? Everybody eats pizza. So this is the long. You can see, I'm going to get up on my tippy toes. You can see it goes down to like the top of my knees. I'm a little bit taller. Um, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. You didn't ask for that song, but it just came out. Okay, sorry for the dance breaks. They happen from time to time. I don't know. I just hear songs and they come out. I apologize. Honestly, I don't apologize. That's what I do. Ooh, this is what Cadell likes on her pizza. I know, y'all. I don't mean to. I really want to be, like, elegant and keep it together. But things just, like, burst out. So, <sighs> I 
Genesis likes apples, avocado, and onion on a pizza. Now that's an interesting, oh yeah. Oh, y'all don't know. Maggie wasn't always old. Hi, Athens girl, Athens girl. I just saw a picture come through. I haven't pulled it up yet, but I'm so excited. Oh, Aaron Laura says, um, you wish you had a girl. She looked good. I would call her. Oh, is that part of the song? I only know the, the part that I give y'all. So yes, onions. Okay. You love the song? You like the dance breaks? Good, because I'm feeling good. Um, okay. <laughs> Don't change the concert. Okay, so again, on this apron, and there's several, y'all, but this one is the long. What I was trying to say is I'm a little taller, so I'm 5'7". Uh, so this is the long. It goes down to the top of my knees. If you get the standard, it's kind of like this. But, you know, I like the long. If you're a little shorter, maybe you get the average and then we uh, the standard. And then we do have kid sizes as well. Y'all are laughing at me. Y'all like it. Y'all keep coming back. You can also customize these in the Zazzle store. Um, you can put your name on it. You can put your kid's name on it. You can quote uh, whatever, whatever you like. So I'll put that up for y'all. Okay. So for our chaffles, for our pizzas, we're going to make a chaffle pizza. So we need to make the chaffles first. So if you're cooking with me, whether live or in the replay, I want you to get an egg. One egg will make two chaffles, so that's what we're going to make, little mini pizzas. And then you need the shredded cheese of your choice. I'm using goat's cheese because I'm dairy sensitive. You can use whatever cheese you like. Ooh, they like sausage, mushroom. Oh, y'all, this is sounding so good. Oh, Genesis, not apples. I thought I saw an apple. I don't know. Look, like I always tell y'all, please eat whatever you like. I support everything. I am not the food police, so if you want apples on your pizza... Ooh, I look like I have a uniform. Well, maybe I am a professional, y'all. I had a massage between morning, the whatever, and now so I'm feeling refreshed. And uh, I just have on, y'all know, I am the queen of the $8 Old Navy dress. This is like a little t-shirt dress. I'll show you. It's, um, it's a one piece, kind of like a romper. I know this is not about food. But it's like a dress. It's got the little elastic waist here with two little ties. And it's just like a, you know, I need to accentuate the waist because that's my problem area. But they have these in all kind of different colors. It's just t-shirt material. A little bit thin looking, but I'm home and I'm covered up. So yeah, but this is one of my favorite $8 <laughs> Old Navy dresses. No pockets, just a regular, like, you know. So, but it is like a white off white. So I'm glad I look professional, but I am not a chef. I'm just a boy mom and a home cooker, but I can still teach you what I know. Looks like a full uniform. They are so company, comfy, aren't they? Yeah. I am a former corporate executive, much happier at home now. So I always want to represent myself well and represent you all well, but I'm going to be comfortable. So, yes, that's what we've got going on today. But I'm glad. Shh, don't tell anybody I'm not a proper chef, you know. Put my stuff together. All right. Now, I know uh, Athens Girl is vegan. You could probably do this with um, your just egg substitute. I don't know. Try it and let me know. I am going to use a whole egg, um, but you can do this with the egg substitutes meaning if you have the one in the carton that you pour, this will work. However, I would use the full egg. I would not use the egg whites. I have tried it. It doesn't give it enough structure. Hey, veggie, thank you for being present. Oh, goodness, I love my scholars. <laughs> Ooh, Globe Girl says cheese or margarita, margarita pizza. Ooh, I wonder if it's named after me. Sorry, I didn't mean for that to come out. These things in my head, and then you all just embrace my quirks, and so they just come out. All right, cheese and eggs. Okay. 
All right, so again, I'm using real eggs. All we need is one because it's later. We're not going to make a lot of food. I had a big meal earlier with the salmon cakes. Very good, but very filling. And then you want a good melting cheese. I am using this Whole Foods. This is my shredded goat's cheese, which is the cheddar cheese made from goat's milk because I'm sensitive to cow dairy. If you can have cow dairy, please have some for me. You can use any good melting cheese, a mozzarella, uh, I don't know, a Colby Jack, a Monterey Jack, heck, a Mexican pizza blend, if that's what you have. But for this goat's cheese, we want to use the one that melts. We don't want to use the creamy one. The goat's cheeses that you'll see me use are three different varieties, a melting cheese, a creamy cheese, and a crumbly cheese. We use a crumbly cheese earlier on the salad. I'm using this on our pizzas. Ooh, Bill, I don't know. I'm scared to look, y'all. We are very close to being eligible for monetization. You need to have a thousand subscribers. I have 1200 plus and you need to have 4,000 watch hours and I'm over 3,500. I'm scared to look. It's like I want to look, but I don't want to look, but uh, I'll probably look and post it tonight, but we've got to be there. Google will email you when you're, um, when you've made it, but I keep, you know, I'm that kid that keeps shaking the gift underneath the Christmas tree because I'm can't wait. Want to know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard about the vegan cheese. It doesn't melt well. I'm not vegan, but hey, you guys make these recipes the way that it works for you. I know, Val. I'm scared. Maybe I'll get my laptop during the chat and chow and we'll look together. Okay. I'm getting my gravy boat. You just need a small mixing bowl. So I like my gravy boat, I don't know, because it ha has a handle that's easy to hold and a sturdy base that stays cool in the microwave, but we're not going to use the microwave. And I'm stirring with a chopstick. Why? I don't know. I like it. It's non-stick. It fits in my hand, but you can do this with a spoon, a fork, or whatever you, whatever you like. Veggie, veggie. What are we looking at, veggie? Did I miss something? Oh, yes. So Caudel is asking about the grated goat cheese. Oh, I'd love to hear. So Caudel, I'd love to know um, you tried goat's cheese and it's better for you. Let me see if I can get the block. Oh, you want to look together? Okay. Remind me because y'all know I forget. Remind me for the chat and chow. I'll get my laptop. I don't want to look on my phone anymore because the phone has all of my watch hours. But when you look on the laptop, all that count to the public watch hours. So any little family videos that I've made private don't count. Okay. coffee. I know it's great. Just a few things to show you guys since Caudel asked. So this is what I'm using. The only place that I've seen shredded goat's cheese is at Whole Foods. Maybe y'all can find it where you are. The only place I've seen this sliced goat's cheese is at Whole Foods. We're not using this today, but this is what I did when I did the Paggy, Paggy, the Maggie Patty Melt or the Paggy Maggie, Patty Maggie Melt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So this is the sliced goat's cheese, also available at Whole Foods. Now, usually what you see me buy is this LeClaire. You can get this at Whole Foods. You can get this at Sprouts, um, other farmer's markets. I can buy it online. It's a block cheese, and I shred it myself, shred it once, and then I have, you know, for the whole week. Also, this is a mozzarella-style cheese made from goat's milk. Oh, Veggie wants to look together. Okay, we'll celebrate together. Y'all, I'm nervous. Now, here's the thing. I think it only over, it only updates overnight, but I have not looked today, so I will get my laptop. Y'all laughing at me? What did I do now? My pronunciation? I told y'all. I feel like onion. I think I have, um, there was some onion on that. That's bothering me.
We'll make our iced coffee in a minute. I think I had a little onion in there. I'm just going to wash my hands again. Okay, so Genesis wants to know, is the goat butter and the goat cheese salty? Not any more salty than regular butter and regular cheese. So the goat's cheese is salted like salted butter. And um, I'll taste one of these and let you know. And I'll compare it to the regular stuff for you. Oh, Vel got her skinny mix. Oh, you got your skinny mixes at TJ Maxx, no mango? Okay. So we'll talk about that in a second. And let me do the cheese taste test for you. Paggy, look, y'all, you know what I mean. Y'all understand? So I keep all the regular stuff. So this is what I have for the boys. So if you can have regular cow dairy, just this is a great melting cheese for Italian uh, dishes or whatever. So I'm going to get just a little bit because I'm not supposed to have dairy. This is your regular Kraft mozzarella just for the taste test. I miss it. Okay, sorry. That's just how the happy dance. I don't know why. Okay, so a nice, smooth, creamy cheese. I didn't melt it, but I can tell that it would melt really smooth. So that's my regular. It's got a nice little saltiness in it. Now I'm gonna try the goat's cheese. This is just plain, just to compare. I don't know what cheese you use. So we have a few shreds of goat's cheese. Stands up. Okay. Mm. Okay, so the difference, the goat's cheese is definitely firmer. So when I bite, it kind of bites back, not in a bad way. But um, now this one was the one you see, it says creamy melt. So this has got more structure to it. It's definitely, I think a tad more salty. I don't mind that. I don't have to watch my salt. I do have to watch my sugar, but not salt. It's bothering me wear these pearls okay but I want to make sure that I give you guys what you want <laughs> um, now at first it doesn't have that goat taste but you know like when it melts down in your mouth you have a little bit of that goat funkiness which is an acquired taste I'm fine with it um, to me it's like a blend of like blue cheese and sour cream but um, I would say a tad saltier. Living out loud. Oh, y'all. Cooking is what I do. You know, I've been cooking since 1842. I was raised by a now retired home economics teacher. My mom cooked for the family. And when she was in the kitchen, my dad said, Maggie, in the kitchen. So there were no child labor laws. So this is just what I had to do. But I'm so grateful for my upbringing. But uh, yeah, I like to eat. So have a snack, have a beverage, have something because I've been told I cook too much, but y'all keep coming back. All right, egg in the um, gravy boat or bowl if you're cooking along. All right, and again, one egg will give you two chaffles. So if you're making like a sandwich, one egg. Now, what we have is just the egg in the gravy boat. Any metal utensil will work as well. <laughs> Probably like a fork. I don't know. <laughs> the Maggie bounce. <laughs> yeah, y'all, I just like, when I eat the food, like it, it speaks to me. Y'all know some of y'all who garden, the plants talk to you. They don't talk to me. Some of y'all who are animal whisperers, I am not. You're one with the animals. I don't know. I have this experience with food. Like it's really like doing something to me. I can't explain it, but yeah. Am I in the club? Uh-oh. That's not elegant. Okay, focus, Maggie. Keep it together. Oh, you like the side-by-side? -side? Learned that from TLA. Yeah, worked with a um, freelance artist to get this logo. And some of y'all wanted the one with 
the Maggie likeness. And then some of y'all, oh, not that. Some of y'all wanted the one that has, um, you know, not the likeness, mainly the men, which is totally fine. I got you. Whatever my scholars ask for, I try to deliver. But yeah, now I have my own logo. I can use it anywhere. <laughs> Eat before coming to class. I will add that to my opening speech, right? All right, so we have our egg, one egg. If you're using the pourable eggs, I don't know, whatever the egg measurement is. Y'all, I'm going to get, I used to have, look on my community tab, I used to have like purple blue frames, but I've been corporate since college and maybe that's what it is. I had to like subdue all of my quirkiness to be like office robot. But um, since I've been home, I'm not going back. So y'all get the benefit of all this stuff that's just been pent up for all these years. Amethyst, welcome to class. Okay, so now you want to mix your egg and cheese. This is a two ingredient chaffle. We'll doctor it up a little, but all you need is egg and cheese. How much cheese? I don't know. Probably about a half a cup, but this is what I do. Nana taught me to cook with all of my senses, so I'm looking for a texture. So you know with egg, whether it's beaten or like this, it's still kind of jiggly. So I'm going to put... That's probably like half a cup. I usually do like quarter cup and then stir and then quarter more. But what I'm looking for is a chunkiness. If it's still liquid, too eggy, when you go to cook it on the waffle maker, it'll be eggy. If you want like the crispy structure of like a crust or a bread, the cheese is what gives it that structure. So I'm just going to use my chopstick or any metal utensil and stir it up. I don't know why my children are embarrassed by me. Okay, <laughs> a plethora of cheese. So here's the thing, that might've been a lot, but here's the thing. I've done this en enough times before, I'm just stirring and I'm gonna show you guys the texture. I've done this enough times before, just put a pinch of cheese and stir. If it's still kind of like soupy, keep putting cheese in there. It's about a half, half a cup for one egg and this will make two chaffles. So you guys see what I have here? So you see how it's kind of like chunky? Cause you like them thick and you like them chunky. You know you do. Cleaning up. You like saying plethora? I like saying macerate. We're not macerating strawberries tonight, but I learned that in a cooking class and now I throw it in whenever I can. So all you need is egg and cheese. Y'all are laughing at me, but I'm gonna add a little seasoning because I want flavor in every bite. Now, if you are making these sweet, you could put sweetener, you could put vanilla, you could put whatever you like. I'm gonna put some pizza seasoning or Italian seasoning or oregano, whatever you have. So this is just my Walmart Italian seasoning. This is optional, but I want flavor in every bite, all right? So into my chaffle mixture, which is just egg and cheese. Not a whole lot, you could do more than that, but I just put a little Italian seasoning in there. You could do everything bagel seasoning. You could do salt and pepper. You could do whatever. All right, so I just mix it up and you guys can kind of see this is what we have. So this is basically, Pure protein, right? Egg and cheese, are you noticing a trend? So now if you're cooking along with me, you wanna get your waffle maker. This will work on the big one. I'm going to use a small one. Living out loud has a confession. Living out loud has a sweet tooth. Ooh, I wanted to make dessert tonight. I was thinking maybe I'd make a sopapilla. You like it thick and chunky, you know you do. Y'all know you do. Um, so I'll make dessert after pizza. I'll give you, um, I'll satisfy your sweet tooth. I really don't want to do that, but it just comes. Okay, get your waffle maker.
All right, don't laugh at me because my appliances. Hi, James. Thank you for being here. Yes, y'all, thank you for helping the channel to grow. Hello, Ada. Thank you for being here. Genesis, I know you're laughing at me, and that is all right. I don't mind. <laughs> Look at Aaron Lord. I've never seen it spelled. Didn't I say earlier I was going to start doing secret videos about my elegance journey? This is not helping my journey. But anyway, it's Saturday night. Just got, no, that's Friday night. You just got paid. You're hanging with me. Something, something. I don't know the words. Okay, focus, Maggie. You need a waffle maker. Ooh, thank you. Moving in silence is giving you tips if you wanted extra crispy. Um, I didn't have good luck with egg whites, but I didn't do the almond flour. So this is my janky little dash. Y'all know I love the dash appliances. Don't laugh at me. The light bulb came out, but it still works. I am not a proper chef. This is just me in my kitchen, but it still lights up blue. So it's like a little mini George Foreman, but it's a waffle maker. So y'all know I love the dash appliances. They have the grill. We did the patty melt on the grill. They had the griddle. We did the um, Maggie cakes on the griddle. And now today we're using the waffle maker. Links should be in the description. $12.99, Target, Amazon, any place. Do I bring you joy? I'm so glad you said that. I wasn't having the best day, but I'm glad. I'm really glad. Thank you. Mona's still laughing at me. Y'all know you like it. Okay. I wonder about all the new people, like, what is going on? Ooh, Cadell uses Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. I'm going to skip the salt because the cheese has salt, but that's great. Um, oh, wow. I knew that I need a sound bite board. So Vel told me if I ever get a sound board, my sound should be a sizzle. So just you wait. I found a sizzle sound and I sent it to the freelancer. We're going to get there, y'all. We're only four months old, but <laughs> buckle up, buttercup. What was my message today? Can you see my watch hours? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Has anybody else seen them? <laughs> Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> oh, yeah. A sizzle is coming. Oh, yeah. Just you wait. Okay, focus. So here's what we're going to do. In my batter, let's mix it up. I just have Italian seasoning, egg, and cheese. I used a whole egg and probably a plethora, half cup of cheese, okay? Buckle up, buttercup. I know, y'all gotta help me. All this stuff is coming. We're gonna, yes, all of it. All right, so I'm going to plug up my mini dash. I'm not gonna grease it because the cheese, to me, has enough oil to, to um, non-stick. But if you wanna spray it or grease it up, you can. So let me unplug the iPad. And so what we're doing now is we're just making our pizza crusts. While this is cooking, I'm gonna get my toppings out and we'll assemble. Four months, yes. Y'all, Maggie the substitute teacher I've said this, you know, before, but those of y'all who go way back with me, I've always been cooking. And when I started taking my health and, well health and wellness journey seriously, I started making up food that I could have that I want to have and posting it on my social. I'm going to pour half of the batter in the waffle maker. I'm not going to wait for it to preheat. I'm not doing that. It'll come on. You'll hear it. And then I'm using my chopstick. Oh, that's the other reason I like to use something nonstick when I'm using my little devices and just kind of smooth it out to the ends, uh, to the edges, so that I get a nice, consistent pizza crust. Um, but yeah, I always used to just post pictures of the finished product, like if y'all see my Instagram, or if you see my community uh, section on my YouTube, you'll see all this food, and people were like, did you make that? How did you make that? And so people always used to tell me, you know, Margaret, that's my name, Margaret, you're really good at that. 
you need a cookbook because you do need a cookbook. Um, when's a cookbook coming? When you make a cookbook, I want an autographed copy. All of that. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's nice. Maybe one day. And uh, then you go to church and they talk about your, um, you know, your gift and, you know, all these things. And I just kind of like, yeah, one day. And then someone turned me on the lead attorney. And when I heard him said, if you're over 35, please start a YouTube channel because people need to know what you know. And I was like, OK, three times is a charm. So I'm here talking to y'all. Sizzle. Meow. I know. So, yeah, if y'all listen up, you can hear our waffle maker is cooking up. OK, so I'm going to make my iced coffee. Y'all know that I know it's late, but I'm having ooh, I can smell it. Um, Panera is close to me. It's a coffee shop. They have an unlimited beverage subscription, $10 a month. This is iced coffee with almond milk. I always get my drinks unsweet. And then I have my own sugar-free sweeteners. Um, I think Belle said that she got the, um, thank you, Mona. Belle said that she got the, what's it called? You got strawberry today. I'm going to put vanilla in here, but I'll show y'all what she's talking about. So you can order these online or you can get them in the stores. Skinny syrup. So these are my flavored sweeteners. Um, zero calories, zero sugar. So this one came from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, Ross. Go to the back where they have the gourmet. $3.99 uh, for the small. $7.99 for the big. I'm going to put vanilla. Don't want to do vanilla. I'm feeling a little festive tonight. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to do vanilla caramel cream. They have all the flavors. I put them in teas. I put them in coffees. I put them in yogurt. I put them in pancake batter. Um, but you can get all of the, um, you can pour or you can buy the pump. Optional. You can get all of that coffee house flavor, saving money and saving calories. So you guys are always going to hear me talking about beverages and condiments. I like it sweet. I avoid it, but I still like everything sweet. So you can get the big, whatever these are called, pump bottles. They also have, you can order these online, the flavor ver verse, vanilla, mocha, and caramel. I love these. I keep them in the car. I keep them in my purse. So when I'm out with the kids, if they want McDonald's or Chick-fil-A, I'll order an unsweet tea, sweeten it myself. Strawberry is good in tea, Mona says. That sounds good, a strawberry tea. And you add it to your, ooh, cream soda. Oh, that's so good. Okay, chocolate is cooking. We got one down. All right, I'm going to get our pizza toppings. And um, I need to empty out the pantry because it still has our salmon in there. Looking good. I want it to brown a little more.
let's take a look. Oh, it looks beautiful. Wash my hands and I'm gonna show you. This is so easy. Kids can help with this, but it's a nice little treat slash snack. With the toppings that y'all like, you could make it a meal. I need to pack up our salmon cakes from earlier. These were excellent on my salad, very filling. All right. Ooh, beautiful. Let me show y'all what we have. Ooh, Sprite Zero. Yes, cocktail, splash of vodka. Psh. So let me show you all our first pizza crust. So I'm just using the spatula. I, I want to use nonstick to get it out. Had a little bit of overspill, but it is okay. Y'all can see this. So again, a waffle, <laughs> just egg and cheese. I'm putting it on the little air fryer tray. You see we have a little specks in there. That's from the Italian seasoning. So this is our savory pizza crust. Ah, Caudel and her strawberry tea. Okay, so we have one down. We need to make one more. So I'm going to put, uh-oh, the rest of our egg and cheese mixture. I'm just scraping the sides. So all we're doing now is making our pizza crust. I'm going to put the rest of this on the waffle maker. Nice little pockets for toppings. Oh, yeah. So you can do syrup and butter and eat it as a proper waffle. You can use it as a bread slice for a sandwich. Or tonight we're doing pizza crust. All right, so I'm just smoothing it out and I'm closing it. So again, remember this was one egg and a plethora of cheese. I don't know, a handful. Just look for thick and chunky. No, I haven't heard. Um, so Living Out Loud is asking about miracle fruit. We use monk fruit in the pecan brittle. Y'all, I gotta give it away. I gave like a whole section to the massage therapist, but we made candied pecans earlier. I had these on the salad. This is probably gonna go to mom. They're addictive, I'm not even gonna start. But we made these with monk fruit. If you like those candied nuts that you get like at the fair in that plastic sleeve, but they have all that sugar, you can make your own. Earlier video is what we did. Oh, you like the sizzle? Oh yeah, Genesis, oh yeah. Cleaning up. told me the dishwasher wasn't that loud, so we're going to go ahead and start it. I'm going to wash my hands and show you guys the toppings. Okay, so when you're making pizza, you can use whatever toppings you like. Um, you can buy pizza sauce. I didn't. I got this at Sands Club. I've heard good things about it. I've never used it. That's why it's together. This Rouse um, marinara sauce. Here's the thing. Use whatever pasta sauce you like. Use ragu. Use leftovers. Use whatever. But what I look for, pasta sauce is another culprit where there's added sugar. Um, what I eat is pretty sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. And if I'm going to eat sugar, I want to be intentional about it and really enjoy it. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff that we buy has added sugar to it, even if it's not supposed to be sweet, like pasta sauces. 
So I don't count calories or carbs, but I do turn things over to look at the sugar content. I don't have to watch my salt, but I do have to watch my sugar. And everything I eat is supposed to be under six grams of sugar. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like, what does that say? Zero added, total of four. Oh my God, again? I don't know, y'all. Do I need to go on to... I don't know, y'all. It doesn't show me anything. Yeah, Athens girl, let me see if I can check something. All right, hopefully I'm back. I changed my Wi-Fi network. So I lost any of the chat, but hopefully you guys can hear and see. I saw that last comment from Athens Girl. Good now? Okay. Um, sorry, y'all. We're going to get there. Um, yes, I have also seen Ragu makes a line called Ragu Naturals that has no added sugar or no sugar. So that's something that I keep an eye on. But please, work, do what works for you. Okay, so other pizza um, crust is in here. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Nice and crispy. Let me bring over the tray and we're done with our pizza crust. So the reason that I put them on this type of like um, grill type tray, this is just the tray from the air fryer. Um, whenever you take anything out hot, you want to kind of let it cool on a rack. Okay, wonderful. Whew. <sighs> You want to let it cool on a rack. The air circulates around and it keeps that crispy texture. I like that. If you put it on a plate or something that um, doesn't have air flow, then it'll just soften. If that's what you want, that's fine. Let me show y'all our second pizza crust. Two hands. Lift it up out of there. All right. So y'all can see. The nice little, what did uh, Living Out Loud say? No, was it Cadell pockets of cheese? Okay, so our pizza crusts are done. So these, again, were made in the little waffle maker. Ha 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 So they're nice and hot. We're going to top them, and I'm going to air fry them to um, just get the cheese to melt. Now, I am going to, I'll air fry them just on this. It's fine. I was going to put some parchment down, but it's fine. So I'm just putting a paper towel on my counter. All right, so the first thing is sauce. Rouse is excellent. Ooh, you made an egg white wrap pizza. Sounds good. So I've heard really good things about this. Y'all, we were talking about Flav City earlier. He raves about this. So when I saw it at Sam's Club, I decided to try it. So I'm going to try just a little bit. Then I'm just going to get a teaspoon and put the sauce down on my pizza. Okay. Ooh, it looks nice. Like the texture, you can see it's nice and chunky because you like it chunky. Um, you know, a lot of them just look like pureed. So let's give it a try. All right, I'm gonna scoop it first and then I'm gonna lick my spoon because I don't care, I'm still gonna use it. So we have our first pizza crust, and y'all can see here, got the nice little crust going. It's got great structure, got a little overhang, but fix that, okay? About the size of my hand. So I just took a spoon of whatever pasta sauce you like, and I'm gonna put it on. Are oh, you used to sauce too? Great. And I'm just gonna use the back of the spoon just like you would make pizza and spread it kind of to the edges. Okay, you can probably eat it just like that. So we have two little mini pizzas. Let me do the second. Chunky like you like your applesauce, absolutely.
So this would be great. Um, Y'all know I have the Big Daddy waffle maker. This one does one at a time. Um, Dash also has one that does four at a time. So if you're cooking for the family, you can make these little chaffles in advance. I've heard people make like a whole bunch of them and freeze them and then kids can have their own. You can set out all the toppings and let everybody make their own pizza. So we have our chaffle and we have our pizza sauce. All right, now I'm gonna taste it. Mm, woo! Okay, I'm about to do the patty. Oh my gosh, such excellent flavor. It's worth it. Wow. All natural premium. I've never used it before, but is it Rouse or Rayo? I don't know. Excellent. I usually just use ragu and like doctor it up, meaning I get like the peep sauce and then, which is fine. Start somewhere, use what you have. This could be, I've even used just tomato sauce from the can in a pinch and then put on Italian seasoning. Looking good. Oh yeah, living out loud is looking good. Excellent by itself. Whew. Y'all know what's funny? I don't even mean to do that. It's just the flavors just move through my body that way. Kind of like an interpretive dance. Then when I go back and I watch the videos, I'm like, why am I doing the most? Wow, more like. Wow. Yo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Focus Maggie. Oh, they have pizza sauce too. Thank you, Ada. I got this at Sam's Club, so I'll keep my eyes out. So we have our chaffles and we have our pizza sauce or pasta sauce, whatever. Now, the cheese of your choice. Y'all already know I'm using my shredded goat's cheese available at Whole Foods or shred your own or use Kraft or whatever you have. Y'all are laughing at me, but you like it. All right, so I'm getting a pinch of cheese. How much? I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to do a little bit of food styling. Let me look at it. We're going to move... You just want a little bit of cheese in every bite. So go around carefully. Since these are small, you know, you wanna do like little pinches at a time and kind of smooth it out so you have, um, you know, good coverage. When you have a big family style pizza, you can just, yeah. But this is just a little bit delicate, but it's gonna be really good. So again, I'm using goat's cheese. You like it? Oh, that's why I told you because you like it. That's what I tell people to complain. I'm like, you keep coming back? Kids, what is wrong with y'all? Keep telling me it tastes better when I do it. All right, so we have our cheese. Now, probably don't need to, but just for a little extra festive, because why be regular when you can be extra? I am going to put some of my... Uh, great value Walmart Italian seasoning optional the sauce has really good flavor but this gives me a little color on the white goat's cheese if you're using mozzarella you can do that too completely optional but just gives you a little Cadell, you got your goat cheese slices and butter I can't wait to hear how you like it. And you had mentioned earlier that the dairy was giving you problems. I'm always curious what um, problems you were having with dairy. Genesis, we like it. We love it. We want some more of it. Got that right. Okay, focus Maggie. Extra all the way. Hello, y'all are here because I'm extra. If you wanted a proper chef, you would be watching one, but you're here with me. So Genesis said, no pork, yes ma'am. So this is what I'm using, turkey pepperoni. I think I just bought these at Walmart online. I don't know, gluten-free turkey pepperoni. Y'all keep laughing. So we're gonna do one cheese and one pepperoni. So we just have like three slices. Now, since these are mini pizzas, a little goes a long way. If you eat uh, pork, you could do the ones that 
I guess what do people do? Do they cut these or they make the little pepperonis that's like little, little bites of pepperoni? I don't know. All right, so you see what we have so far? I have three little pieces of turkey pepperoni. We're doing one just cheese. Hey, Crypto, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, all of my channel sponsors. Y'all just have been such a blessing to me. I even made you a ticker. I got you a ticker. Check me out. Let me know if I'm missing anyone. If you have donated any amount before I monetize, you are a channel sponsor for life. You get special privileges. Okay, so what we have so far, we have one with cheese and turkey pepperoni and one with just cheese. I'm gonna do extra cheese on here. And then if you all remember, oh, you're here with Maggie the boy mom times two. Y'all know how I am, because you've seen them. I was upset earlier. I had some school forms that somebody who shall remain nameless has lost. The type of forms with the like seal. Okay, focus. If you all remember when we made the patty melt and we had those portobellos, I had, um, we did like the onion and mushroom on the portobello melt, or uh, the patty melt, Maggie melt, y'all know. So I have some extra mushrooms, so I'm just gonna put some. I'm a pepperoni and mushroom girl. Look at me. Yeah, pepperoni bites. Yeah, I don't know what those things are. So we're gonna just do some portobello on one is going to be pepperoni and mushroom and one is going to be just cheese so let's see if we can get some good coverage a little pepperoni in every bite or a little mushroom in every bite i want good coverage but i don't want it to be overly done <laughs> all right so that's good since these are mini a little goes a long way this would be great for kids then i'm going to do a little bit more cheese <laughs> oh living out loud thank you so much i appreciate it y'all know just being here makes my day but i do have a cash app check out my ticker y'all i'm very proud of it this thing had been here all along i finally got to that module in the course i didn't know washing my hands I like to send happy mail to my sponsors and, uh, you know, y'all are just first in line for me. I also have a Venmo. Yes. And I also have a, hold up, I made it. I have a PayPal too. Check me out. I'm just really proud of my ticker, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> okay, focus. How do you monetize? Great question. So we'll talk about that. All right. So what I'm going to do, this is what I have so far. We're going to just add a little bit more cheese. So we get that nice bubbly ooey gooey. Look, I'm a professional, y'all. Check me out. Four months in. It was there all along. I don't read. I can read. I just don't read. All right. A little bit extra cheese on the cheese pizza. And I'm going to put a little extra cheese on our pepperoni and mushroom. All right. Let me pick up the cheese that left. It fell off because I'm greedy. Make sure my food styling looks good. All right. And then just for extra, I'm going to do a little bit more of the Italian seasoning. This could be oregano. It could be whatever you have. All right, so now these are basically going to go under the broiler because everything's done. So we have one pepperoni and mushroom, turkey pepperoni, and we have one just cheese. Belle got some happy mail. <laughs> All right, let's get our foil. I know Athens girl got some happy mail. Oh, Cardell. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you, thank you. I will talk about monetization because I'm not there yet. And what I learned, I'm teaching y'all. I'm no pro. I look like one though, with my white on white. 
and my little ticker. I'm so proud of that ticker. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Reading is overrated. Oh yeah, you like the Italian seasoning? Mm -hmm. It just adds a little extra zest. And y'all have seen my tomato snack, so if you haven't, let me know, but I use it on that too. All right. These are gonna go in the air fryer. Just covering the tray because the cheese, you know, when it melts, this is one of the trays. Just to catch the drippings. You're saving your card. Oh, that's right. I did put a little card in there. I'm like, what card? I love my scholars. I really do. No, I didn't think anybody would tune in for this. You know, my family doesn't think I cook. Mom just subscribed. Dad doesn't watch. My brother is waiting for me to monetize. And my son thought I fell and went viral. So yeah, y'all were here from the beginning when it was just me. So, and I want you scholars, I don't care how big this thing gets, keep me accountable, keep me humble. Don't let me get too, you know how people get. Oh, yes. Oh, Athens girl, you know I love you, Susan. <laughs> But yeah, all right, everyone. So we've got our drip tray and we've got our little mini pizzas, the chaffle crust, Rao's pizza, pizza sauce, Rao. turkey pepperoni, mushrooms, goat's cheese for me. So these are gonna go in the air fryer just until they're bubbly brown. It could be the broiler, it could be whatever you like. I feel like I need some more cheese on the mushroom. Y'all laugh and you love it. You love it. Love it. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. Oh yeah, I just put a little thank you card in her package. So we're gonna get those bubbly brown. Susan was what Susan and I went to high school together, and she was one of the first ones um, to support the channel. Um, y'all, any amount. It's just, it just makes my day that y'all keep coming back. Um, so yes, I do. I like to send you know little stuff like that. Only two. Yes, it's late, Cardell. Um, and I'm gonna make. Um, was it you that said you like sweets? I'll make the sopa pia too. But yeah, I had a big salad earlier, and it's late trying to get this weight off but two is perfect if you want to have more please have more uh, okay so living out loud are you do you have a channel so let us know i'm assuming you do okay so i know mona put that here but while our pizzas are cooking in order to be monetized by youtube you have to meet four criteria two are easy two are hard the two easy ones are, you can't have any copyright strikes. That's why I make my own songs. Um, you have to have two-factor authentication on for like security. So when someone logs in, it comes to my phone. So those are the two easy ones. Check and check. You can also see an image I posted on my YouTube community tab and you can see all the different things. I have three out of the four. So the two hard ones, excuse me, um, you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers because of you all. Let me plug up. Because of you all, I have over 1,200 scholars now. Um, and we got that done before Memorial Day in 90 days. But you also have to have 4,000 public watch hours. So that means if I make a video and it's an hour long and five of you watch the whole thing, I get credit for five watch hours and you need 4,000. So last time I checked, I didn't have the settings right and I was looking at my lifetime watch hours, which was like 3,900. 
before I started this channel, I used YouTube. Um, my ex-husband and I, the boys were born in Virginia. I moved there uh, after college for work, amicably divorced now. But, you know, we would send uh, kids videos and stuff to the family out of state. And so I had made these private, like, YouTube videos. And um, I was looking at all of my hours, not my public hours. So my public hours are the ones that you all see. So those are the steps. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so Kadel, I'm curious. What would be a portion for you? Just curious, like if you were eating these little mini pizzas as a meal, what, like three or four? I'll show you the mamma jamma that I have. Clean it up. I'm sure it's not called the Mama Jamma, but this is also from Dash. It makes four at a time. So I got this at Target, it's like $40. But if you're cooking for the family, or if you want to make four of them, which would be like four waffles or two sandwiches, you can use this one. Cooks up really quickly, but you know I'm using this one, one at a time. And I'm fine with one at a time. I know when Mr. Mustachio is here, he laughs at me. But if you're cooking for, if you need to make a trough for the family, um, you can do these in advance and like refrigerate or freeze them. And then just have your pizza toppings out. Let everybody make their own little pizzas and put them underneath the broiler because they're still going to heat up anyway. I think I'm funny too. I think I'm... Who is calling me? My family... Gotta put my phone on do not disturb. Where did I take my kid this morning? And they were saying G-O-O-D-M-O-R-N-I-N-G. -O -O Good morning. Good morning. So I was doing it with them, right? I took him to a little summer camp orientation and he was like, Mom, please. They won't let me be great, y'all. We don't have strong language here. Oh, is that your uh, channel? Okay. So, Caudel, you have the mini dash? Yeah, I wonder how, oh, Caudel, you'd make four. Okay. So, you would make four mini pizzas? Okay. So, y'all let me bust loose when I want to be festive. Y'all let me be festive. Oh, my gosh. Hold on one second. Is that... Genesis, thank you so much. I need to add you to the ticker. Add you to the ticker. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so let's check out our pizzas. Perfect timing. Hear that sizzle? So we're ready to plate. Let me get a plate. Let me get a plate. That didn't take long at all. See? Pizza's done. You love it? Oh, okay, yes. Look, the first live is the hardest. My first live was the same thing, just kind of like, hi. People were like, are you actually going to do a demonstration? It was just me talking. But y'all, this looks really, really good. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, because everything was already done. Let's see. I'm going to leave these on here. Okay, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. All that dancing. I need to take a bio break. Ah, pictures. See, I just get greedy and start eating. Okay. So let's see how we can style these up. 
Then I'll eat and get my laptop and then do dessert or do you want dessert and then watch hours? So four would be good, right? So Genesis, your cheese pizza. And then we have a pepperoni and mushroom. Let me take a couple quick pictures. Looks scrumptious, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't take long at all. The hardest part is the um, the making the chaffle. So that's why I said simple snacks. You can do these. Kids can do these. Absolutely. Oh, it looks so good, y'all, when the cheese is melted. Just taking pictures, some with the flash, some without. Get up close on the food. That's what my photographer friend taught me. Don't be afraid to get up on it. And I just turn the plate. Y'all see the pictures on my community tab? All right. So that I don't look greedy, I'm going to cut it. I do have this little mini pizza cutter. Y'all know I'm a former Coke executive. Great experience, but so much happier at home. I used to have a two hour commute. I was just like y'all, ripping and running behind these kids, different schools. So I've cut in half. I don't know, Genesis, did you want me to cut it? Make little mini pizza bites? So let's try your cheese pizza. God is good. Mmm. Mmm. So I just cut it into little bite-sized pieces. You don't have to. Y'all, simple ingredients, simple and good. Genesis says cut it. Mmm. Mmm. Gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. Belle said you cut it in half. Yeah. These little triangles are like perfect little... Oh, if you're hosting a party, I was going to say these are like perfect little um, like little appetizer pizza poppers or whatever. So you can see we got our waffle crust. Mmm! Mmm-hmm! Mmm-hmm! That's what I meant. Have a whole tray of little <clears throat> pizza triangles or whatever. Great. Sorry, I meant to take a break. So good. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I probably would not. I didn't salt it. You don't need. Between the pasta sauce and the goat's cheese, for me, perfect amount of saltiness. Okay, I really do need to take a bio break. I don't know, what did y'all wanna say? Pizza bites on toothpicks if you wanna get real fancy. See, look at y'all. You got your little sport game favors or whatever. And that's a great way to not waste. So if you had these, cut them in half or cut them in quarters. You could have a veggie version. You could have a meat lovers version. Yeah, y'all know I'm dancing. I know, the music never stops. You could have a veggie version, a cheese version, a meat lovers version, and have all the different like little mini pizzas. 
you know, if you, especially if you have kids with sensitivities. Absolutely. Okay, I don't think I'm going to make it to the bio break. This one I'm going to try eating. This is the turkey pepperoni one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got that mushroom. Got that Italian seasoning. Turkey pepperoni. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wash my hands again. I don't feel like I earned Dexley because it didn't take long at all, right? Y'all, this is so good. No, I didn't do red pepper flakes. Do I have any? I think I used them all on the candy bacon. That's great. If you want that heat, you could do red pepper flakes. I'm just doing... If you did, like, I have some sliced peppers, you could put, like, green pepper, red pepper, whatever on there. Enjoy. Okay, so Athens Girl says you need a goat's cheese parmesan. I got something for you. had a little spill. I have several of these. I think it's my salsa. Maybe that's where the onion is from. This is sheep's milk cheese. It's called manchego or all kind of different varieties. So it's kind of like, like a Parmesan wedge. I haven't seen it grated, but sheep's milk cheese, I know it sounds weird, but if you like that dry, salty cheese like Parmesan, you can grate this really fine. I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm not going to. But yes, manchego is my Parmesan substitute. So if you want a good, excuse me, Parmesan substitute, sheep's milk. Oh yeah, I'm eating all the pizza. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's try it. Why not? I buy it all. But you're right. I have spent, when I got my sensitivity test, and I was like, oh, you think you're sending me back to boil broccoli and baked chicken? Oh, no, ma'am, no, sir. <laughs> you got the wrong Maggie. Give me a list, I'll work with the list. I'll make you want my food. That's what happens, I make my food and the kids are like, mom, what's that? So I'm just going to use a fine grater, like when we zest it. So just like, you see the little shavings? It's going everywhere. Put a little bit on here, especially when it comes out um, hot from the oven. So kind of like, I don't know if you can see the little shavings on there, kind of like at uh, Olive Garden. But yeah, gotta be ready. Cause if I don't, then I go back and I start eating the other stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Give me that dry, salty. Oh, yeah. Adds a little zip zing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I was fine with just the goat's cheese. The goat's cheese is a little tangy, but the manchego or sheep's milk cheese gives you that Parmesan kick. It's like um I don't know whatever that is good last bite mm. 
All gone. There's your cheese pizza. Gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. And the crust was still crusty. Crunchy? I don't know. One cheese. One pepperoni and mushroom. Y'all keep laughing at me. That's all right. You like it. Clean it up. So that was actually great because I don't eat late, but that was a nice little size. So do we want to make dessert? Do you want the sopapilla or we just want to chat and chow and do watch hours? I'll do whatever my scholars like with Genesis, my dear. I hope that helped. And let me know you asked a question on the last video. I saw it, but I didn't read it. You were asking me what I was going to use for the crust. So we made our own crust with the chaffle. So I'm cleaning up, but y'all can type in questions and let me know. Ashton's girl said no nasty cauliflower yet. If you don't like cauliflower crust, this chaffle is the way to go. All right, so I'm cleaning up. Let me get a, so you can see our cheese here. The little edge on the, that comes off the cheese wheel, they say you can eat it. I don't shred it. I just uh, shred the middle part. And then this, you can like slice it. And they said, if you're making your own pasta sauce, put that little rind in there, gives it some flavor. I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag. A little goes a long way. So if you can't have dairy, if you can't have cow dairy, sheep's milk cheese gives me that salty, briny, um, like, um, what do they call it? I was going to say like salty cheese. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, Genesis, you're so welcome. Caudel. Caudel says, Suzette Speaks, you like the pizza? Wonderful. Caudel says, uh, you came in three hours fed. Now you're hungry for pizza. That's a great one, y'all. Again, buy your turkey pepperoni. Or you don't even have to have any meat on it. If you're plant-based, you can use the canned vegetables. That's what these little meal prep containers are great for. These are the same mushrooms that we used on the patty melt. Put a few of those in your omelet. Good to go. Put a few of them on your pizza. Good to go. Put them on a sandwich. It's a little bit of time to get it done. So then once you do, that'll be in my uh, cooking series, little quick tips that I've learned along the way. But yeah, y'all can have pizza. Don't think you can't have stuff. That is my superpower. Like if you tell me I can't have something, oh, buckle up buttercup. I'm going to find a way to have it. All right. So I don't know. Did y'all want dessert? Did Suzette say, Suzette speaks, are you saying yes to dessert, to the sopapilla? Or what is the yes for? Because once I get my chair and my laptop, you wanted red pepper flakes? Ah, Suzette would roast your vegetables first and then add them. Absolutely. You could get your peppers. You could get your mushrooms. You could get a whole sheet pan oil your vegetables, um, salt them a little bit, cut them the way that you like, put them in the oven, let them char a little bit. Then you have a prep container of all your vegetables. Same thing, toss them in an omelet, toss them in a sandwich, toss them in a, on a pizza. But yes, absolutely. Suzette Speaks says yes to dessert. So I've already made fried apples. They were your fried apples. I'm going to make a sopapilla. I want to show you guys some easy stuff because I know I'll be up here for three hours, but look, I didn't even sit down. All right, so we're going to make dessert. Okay, I need these. I was like, ah, I'm using them up. So we'll get it started 
let's get it started. Oh, 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 let's get it started. Oh, oh, oh. again, that just came out. So I was going to say, let's get it started. And then I'll top it when it comes out. I'll take my bio break. Oh. To all the new people, welcome. I try. All right. We're going to use our cassava tortilla. sheet pan of pizza. That's not what I said. I said a sheet pan of veggies. Suzette Speaks is going to roast her veggies first. But that's what my mom used to do. That's what you can do on the weekend. If Sunday is your cooking day, get all your vegetables, get a sheet pan, do your onion, do your peppers, do your mushroom, oil them, salt them, bake them under high heat, let them char and roast, soften up, use them for whatever you like. Okay, so we're going to make a sopa pia. I don't know why I'm doing this. I can't stop. Oh my God. So I can't have tortillas. So I have another substitute. I found this big old mamma jamma. The burrito size, cause I'm greedy. This is a cassava tortilla. This brand, Siete, you can see. Gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, vegan. Made from cassava flour, which is a root vegetable. Ooh, microwave pepperoni. I've heard about those pepperoni chips. Absolutely. I'm the cat's meow. I'm the cat's meow. Y'all, I'm so not cool. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Y'all keep coming back. Okay, so if you're not familiar, a sopa pia is a dessert that you would find in like a Mexican restaurant. Oh, happy day. Oh, yeah. Um, oh yeah, vegan. You can have this, Athens girl. Um, a sopa pia is a dessert that you will see in a Mexican restaurant. It is a tortilla that they deep fry until it's crispy. And they put a scoop of ice cream on it. And then they drizzle it with honey and all kind of stuff. Oh, it's so good. But I can't have that. So... These, the big ones, this came from Whole Foods. Let me show you the size that I usually have, but I'm feeling greedy tonight. But yeah, you can also order online. Genesis, you keep laughing at me. I don't know why. I knew they were in there. Okay, so this is what I usually use, but either one is fine. These I bought on Amazon, La Tortilla, grain-free cassava tortillas. So this is like the regular size, the taco size. Siete, you can see, this is the grande, the burrito size. So I saw these, and so I bought these at Whole Foods. You can get the standard size, uh, maybe Publix or whatever. So, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm your happy place. I love being your happy place. Okay. So, I'm going to pull one out. So, you can see it looks like a tortilla. It gives you the tortilla experience. The only thing with the cassava, it's a little delicate. And I'm going to show you what I mean. You can use these as a burrito. You can microwave them to soften them up or uh, and just roll them carefully. They cook up fine, but I am going to turn this 
big old manhole cover, as big as my head, um, into tortilla chips. So when you get a proper sopapilla, they do the whole thing. I guess I could do the whole thing. I like chips. I'm going to do chips because that's going to show you what I need to show you. So when you get a sopapilla in the Mexican restaurant, it's the whole tortilla, not this big, and they deep fry it. I'm going to give you the fried experience in the air fryer. <laughs> You're laughing in my class. I'm so glad. Big old manhole cover. Absolutely. So if you look, you see how when I go to fold it, and y'all know what a proper uh, tortilla does. It's very bendy. But see how this is just kind of delicate and just a little bit of a crease. It makes it... Um, uh, it's delicate. I don't know how else to say it. It's totally fine. Just know that when it's cold, it does that. So I'm folding in half and then folding in half. You could use a scissors or a pizza cutter, but since this does this, I'm just, you know, folding in half again, then folding in half. So this is giving me my tortilla-ish chip kind of experience. Okay. So now I have a deck of cards. Are we playing spades? All right, so I have my tortillas here. So now to get the crispy effect, because you see they're, you know, flapping in the wind, we're going to oil them and we're going to air fry them. So you can do this. If you can have regular tortillas, have some for me. So what I'm doing is I'm going to spread these out I'm going to put them back in the round shape. You can make the whole thing, but to eat it, it's a little, you know, meh. All right. So I broke them apart, and now I just kind of put them back together a little bit, like Humpty Dumpty. And then I'm going to oil them. You can use whatever oil that you like. I'm going to use my coconut oil. Y'all know that I use this little mini sprayer, Walmart. Put your own oil in here and it turns it into a pump. That way you don't have that aerosol stuff. Use what you have. But I'm going to spray. So I'm actually going to, I want to get them all greased up. So I'm going to do it over the sink, both sides. So I'm going to spray, 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 and then show you. So see how they're dry and ashy now? You're seeing a theme tonight. Genesis wants to know if you could use that to make breadcrumbs if you cook them first. Because the breadcrumbs, you need that crunch, you need that texture. But that's an option. You can air fry them. So let me get these oiled up. All right. So I just sprayed it liberally over the sink. And then I'm going to turn them over and do the other side. You can brush them with oil. You can use your hands. I'm just using the spray. I know it does look like pizza. I didn't even think about that. All right. <clears throat> so now other side is ashy. We need to moisturize. So I'm going back to spray. <laughs> yeah, I learned how to play spades. I figured that out in high school. They didn't want me to join, but... Gotta bring the extra. Spray the other side. Okay, so y'all can see we got a nice sheen on there. So these are gonna go in the air fryer. However, <clears throat> all right, let me set this down. If y'all remember, the air fryer has a fan inside. So if you put it in just like this, They'll fly around and then they'll be like that. That's fine, not gang signs. I would like them flat. So, whenever I cook anything lightweight in the air fryer, like, like these um, tortilla chips or bacon strips, I always put another tray over top so they're going to go in the air fryer like this 
so that it doesn't move around. So we'll put these in maybe like five minutes. I'll do a bio break and then come back. So these are going to go in the air fryer. I was actually being a little greedy. That's a little big. You want to try and keep the slices separate so that they don't cook stuck to each other. And then I'm putting this close to it over the top. All right. I don't know, like five minutes, 400. You want them to go from flapping in the wind to standing, you know, uh, keeping some structure. So remember, they were kind of this like white color and they're going to start to brown. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to put this up. I'm not going anywhere. I've been drinking this coffee. I'm going to mute and give you guys some music while these are going and I'm going to take my bio break. I don't know how lead attorney does those four hour streams without using the bathroom. I'm not trying to do that. So let me give you all some music, but I'm not going anywhere. conforming. If I want to bust a move, I'm going to bust a move. If I can't be happy in my own kitchen, where do we go from here? <laughs> Hi, Killis. Thank you so much for it. Let me know how to pronounce it. Is it Killis? 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 Let us know. All right. I see some brown tips. So I'm going to get a plate and we're going to take them out and check. So again, what we're looking for, if y'all remember, they were going in flapping like my apron. We want them to actually get the tortilla crispiness, okay? And I was in the bathroom like, I ate those pizzas really fast. Did I take a picture? Greedy. All right, putting this up.
So I took one out. Y'all can see the edge is starting to brown, but it's still a little soft for me. So they're gonna go back in there. They're getting there, but I want just a little more. So they're gonna cook, they're gonna bubble up a little bit. They're gonna look like a proper tortilla. So you could eat them with chips and salsa. You can make your own taco salad, um, nachos. Y'all have seen me do all kind of stuff. Again, grain free. So if you can't have corn or you can't have starches, you can still have the taco experience, the sopapilla experience. We do all of that here. Welcome, welcome to class, scholars. Oh, I said it perfectly, but which one? I said like three different versions. Oh no, oh no. It's so funny, Maggie is my childhood nickname, y'all know that uh, my proper name is Margaret, right? So I've been Margaret forever. And I actually have some people like, Margaret, Marguerite, like how do you say that? I'm like, I got the oldest lady name of ever. But um, I'm glad Maggie seems to be easy for everyone. <laughs> Grain free, absolutely. Oh, you're gonna rewind and watch it? So yeah. So everything I have is gluten free, dairy free, and sugar free. But um, you know, I can't have as much as I love bread and crackers and um, wheat and cereal and all that stuff. It does not love me back. So I have searched Kilis. Perfect. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, Oh, hi, Bayou Princess. You're new here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Bayou Princess, to class. Thank you for subscribing. And I'm glad you like my energy. In my mind, every time I start, I'm like, I'm going to be elegant. I'm going to represent my scholars well. We're going to have a proper cooking class. And then this happens. Y'all. But I'm glad you like it. Because every time I say, I'm not going to do that anymore, I keep doing it. But yes, so cassava counts as a vegetable for me. It is a root vegetable. That brand that I showed you, Siete, they make all kind of grain free. I'm trying to, I put hot water in my candle. Just trying to get the little things out so I can wash it. Um, they have all kind of grain free uh, items. They have like churros and taco shells. I do like the tortillas. They have them made from almond flour. I buy the cassava flour. They have chickpea flour. They have all kind of grain free alternatives. Siete. Yes, welcome, welcome. Calice, okay, gotcha. Perfect, so Calice says, I had it correctly. You're not sensitive, aw. Names are important to me. I want my name pronounced right. Maggie. That's what my dad says. <laughs> okay. So we'll give it. My biscuits are burning. Okay. Keep an eye on them. They brown fast. So let's see what we got. They're a little darker than I expected, but we got tortillas. Now, oh crap, lost one. Here I come. We're gonna work with them. Maybe take them out like a minute before, but you can see hot, how they're hot. Nice and remember how they were before. Now I'm gonna separate. This is why you wanna keep them off of each other so that they don't cook together. I'm going to do just a little bit of flaky sea salt. Okay. While they're hot and greased up, I'm using the Kona sea salt. Salt and sweet is a nice little combo. Completely optional. Okay, so now what we're going to do, you're going to top them however you like. Blooper reel, I know, that's okay. Still gonna eat them. 
I just left them in there a little too long. I'll be all right. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange them back in the little pizza thing because I want my presentation to be good. Wait till you see what I do. So they're a little bit, um, especially if I would use the smaller ones, but you can see how you have like a nacho chip, grain free. All right, let's see if we can get them back in the wheel for Ezekiel. And this plate is a little bit angled, so I'm having some trouble. Okay, so I got them, whoa, kind of back in the wheel. So now comes the first part, the fun part. All right, you can do this whatever order you like. Dessert means chocolate for me. I'm using the Hershey's Zero Sugar. You can use whatever you like. So I'm just gonna drizzle. So we have some zero sugar chocolate. Then I'm using my sugar-free honey, my sucrin honey substitute, comes from the Netherlands. I'm gonna take the plate and turn it and then do a drizzle in the other direction. Hi, Big Bad. Oh, thank you so much for being here. And you asked me to connect with someone about a collab, please inbox me. I see stuff and then I forget it. Okay, so, so far, this is what we have. And then, while it's hot, this is my sugar substitute, my Swerve brown sugar substitute. Zero calories. Gives you the brown sugar experience. So I'm gonna get a spoon. While they're still warm, If you can have brown sugar, have some for me. Oh, Khalees, I'm just getting started, sweetheart. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. And then, who said you can't have dairy-free whipped cream? This is whipped cream made from coconut milk. You can have plant-based substitutes, coconut milk whipped cream or almond milk whipped cream. 10 calories one gram of sugar. And then I'm gonna do a dollop on each one. And, but wait, there's more. Oh yeah. Little cinnamon dusting because I can, and grain free chips. Oh, yeah, chips. Oh, yeah. Belle does hers with the fried apples. My little Walmart cinnamon that I keep using and I can't use it up, putting it on everything. A little dusting, a little dusting, <laughs> living out loud. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see, I did a little light dusting of cinnamon. Can you see the little speck? There's more? Oh yeah, there's more. I'll give you a little bit more, a little bit of nutmeg, just a little bit. You can do all, some, or none. You can make these sweet like we are. You can make them savory. Just salt and salsa, dollar store nutmeg, whatever warming spice you like. So now, 
Suzette, we made your dessert. We have your gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, grain-free sopapilla. Let me take a picture that I'm gonna eat for you. So let me hold it up so y'all can see. And then I'm gonna take a picture before my whipped cream starts to disintegrate. But yeah, top it however you want. When we talked earlier about the little appetizer snacks, right? You could make a tray of these, and then that's why I like having them in the triangles. Let me take some pictures, y'all. Ugh, y'all, wait till you see this on the page. Looks amazing. Oh, and the dusting just makes it look. Oh God. But yeah, Suzette, they are a flavor bomb. If you like a cinnamon sugar churro kind of um, treat, chocolate. You could do just cinnamon and sugar, sugar. You could do um, just whipped cream and chocolate. You could do whatever you like. Let me get one more and get up close. Get up in there. Don't be afraid to get close to your food when you're taking pictures. You want all the details. All right. So this is why. Oh, thank you. Mango salsa. See? Kelly says, Lord have mercy. She's new here, y'all. Oh, I know, poor thing. Yeah, nutmeg, you can use that on everything. So you guys see why I like to have them in the little triangles? So then people can take one. Mmm. Mmm. So your dessert is ready. And these are great. One tortilla. These are great so everybody has a little bit of sweet. Is TLA spreading rumors? I am not a vegan. Lead attorney made fun of my gluten-free food, gluten food. Called it an air sandwich. That's okay. One day, we're going to get him to taste some and see if he's still clowning my food. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. That's all right. Lead attorney's always saying stuff. We love lead attorney. I am a proud student of his. But he is not the class cooker. I'm the class cooker. But yeah, so I did, honestly, the um, tortillas, they are a little bit browner than I usually do. Usually they are, so you see this one in the corner, like that kind of brown. Just keep an eye on them. I was just doing the most. Who knows? But they're excellent. So, again, one tortilla. And sometimes when I just, which counts as a vegetable, when I just want a dessert, I'll just take one. You saw I folded it in half, then folded it a half again. Just make four little pieces because that's all you really need, right? After a meal, you just want a little bit of sweet. You don't need to eat a whole pie or something. You can make your own. Mmm. 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 Kalisha, says me eating them makes her think you are eating them. I'm eating them for you. But I try to discipline myself trying to get the rest of this weight off. And I only eat when I live stream for y'all. In all honesty, I think the burrito size is a little big because this is like a two biter. When I do the regular size tortilla, you can do it in one bite. So good. Mm, yeah, that's what Belle did. Make the fried apples and then drizzle that over top. Shh. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. So that was your dessert. Easy, sugar-free, dairy-free. 
gluten-free, grain-free. So, Papilla. Suzette asked how many calories. I don't know. Let's see if we can find out. <clears throat> so the big tortilla, I don't count calories, but good thing you asked. The big one is 190. Let's see how much the small one is. Nobody really needs the manhole cover size. Okay, so if you use a standard one, which honestly is better, this is good for sharing. So this is 120 calories. Okay, so the Swerve, my brown sugar sprinkle is zero calories. My salt, I did the flaky sea salt, zero calories. The honey drizzle, 60. So, so far, 190 plus 60 is what, 250? So 250. If you do the small one, 120 plus 60 is 180. And then the Hershey's sugar-free is five calories. So, I don't know. So under 200 for the big one and less than 200, I got lost. But basically, excuse me, y'all, I don't know how much is a proper sopapilla. Somebody look up a proper sopapilla with the ice cream and the honey and all of that. Or heck, even a Snickers bar. In all seriousness, this is enough for two people because you really just want that taste. But for under 200 calories, I would call it a proper dessert. You can sit and share this. This would be great on the couple's uh, cooking class or the, the date night cooking class I want to do, cookbook. Mm -hmm. Suzette says, for dessert, that's really nothing. Y'all, for a drink, how many times do we get those sugary drinks? And it's like 400 calories for like a frappe. Oh, I forgot the whipped cream, Suzette. But the coconut whipped cream is 10 calories. So still, under 200 calories for all of this. Oh, I did spray with a little bit of the coconut oil. Mmm. 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 -mm. Mmm. Mmm. I made candy pecans earlier. I am not putting them on this once I start. I can't stop. But I made candy pecans with monk fruit for our salad this morning or this afternoon. If you like those glazed pecans that you get at the fair, I am giving these away. But you can see they have that nice cinnamon sugar, sugar substitute. Put those in a salad. Okay, ready for watch hours. Okay, let me get my laptop. Let me pull up a Dexley and get my laptop. We're going to look at the watch hours. I'm nervous. Mm-hmm. Candy bacon with swerve. Oh yeah. Am I long stroking you? Oh no. Here's Dexley. Let me get my laptop. Man, my scholars mean business. I'm going to bring you guys down. Close your eyes. Don't get nauseous. It's just me and my iPad. All right. So let me pull up a chair so y'all can see a little Maggie 
logo, little apron. That's the one without my likeness. And you can even customize it if you want to put your name on it or whatever. It's all on the website. I am scared. Okay. So now if you have questions, I can focus. I'm going to take a look at how my channel is doing. So again, Maggie, the substitute teacher is just four months old. We're not monetized yet, but we're getting very close. And my scholars, I'm the teacher. Y'all are the scholars. The live chat is the study hall. Nana is the principal. Lead attorney is the um, professor. And Suzette Speaks, you are our counselor. Every school has a counselor. So I'm going to log into YouTube and it'll show me how my watch hours are going. Okay, so let's log in here. And I'll show you guys what we have. You need 4,000 hours. <laughs> I'm live. Did y'all know that? <laughs> okay, so let's go to YouTube Studio. You know what? I wonder if I could pull it up here and share my screen. <laughs> Suzette, you're the counselor. I don't know how to do that. I'm sure there's a way to share my screen. You know me, if I press the wrong thing, then everything gets shut down, y'all. I'm old, let me just, let me just go to YouTube studio on the laptop. Okay, YouTube studio. Oh, living out loud is the quiet kid. Y'all, shocker. Maggie was a teacher's pet, but I did have one consistent comment on my report cards. Straight A student, 1B my entire primary, middle, and high school. But I did get the talks too much. So when my dad, who has not watched an episode because he does not believe that I'm cooking, he said, oh, Maggie, she's not cooking. She's just opening cans and boxes. Fine. But my mom is trying to tell him, you know, Maggie, she has a cooking show on YouTube. My dad is like, mm. I think she tried to play on one show. He said, hey, but why? She's still talking. So that's my family. So the fact that you all love me and embrace me. Okay, focus, Maggie. I don't know if y'all can see. 1,209 subscribers. Yeah, 4,000 is the goal. Let's look. Let me go to monetization. <sighs> All right. Y'all, this is so janky. I'm sure there's a way to share the screen, but y'all wanted to know? Hold on. Okay, I'm just going to hold it here. This is so low budget. So you see those four checks. Oh, my God. Here I go. I know y'all. Here I come. Okay. Oh, I'm going to hold it so y'all can... Oh, shoot. My ring light. Uh, this is so low budget. Okay. This is the struggle stream screen share. So can you see here? It says you need to... I have three out of the four checks. One says... Oh my God, I'm reading it backwards. 1,000 subscribers. Got that. I have two-step verification, got that. I have zero community strikes because I make up my own songs. <laughs> and then you see 4,000 required. I have 3,000, y'all, I can't read. 3,646. Do you see where it says public watch hours? Are y'all, oh, you got it. Whew, that was stressful. The struggle, the struggle stream screen share. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. It's the last thing. Drum roll. Y'all don't talk about me. One day when I'm all flashy, remind me about my struggle stream screen share. Thank you, Suzette. Thank you, counselor. I'm almost there because of you all. You all watch, you like, you share, you subscribe, which is all free. Because I'm not monetized anyway. You couldn't pay for anything if I wanted you to. <laughs> I'm so close. Oh, y'all make me feel so good. Thank you. 
we're really close y'all so I'm just gonna keep making these videos and talking to y'all so it's like I want to look but I don't want to look but we're gonna get there mmm mmm so good all right that was so embarrassing y'all I'm not slick yet so I'm glad y'all could read it I was holding it and looking in the reflection it's the whole problem all right so now here's the warning this is the chat and chow portion of the struggle stream so if you don't like to watch me eating um apologies i don't want to be rude i would offer you one you get a virtual one please enjoy but now i answer questions because i'm done with the cooking but you guys thank you so much we're gonna get there i usually live stream at least once a day and then sometimes twice a day if i can on the weekends but thank you all so much we're gonna get there oh work from home wife says you watch every day you're gonna try and watch Y'all, whether you watch live or whether you watch the replay, um, the playlist, everything helps. Our little channel is growing. Yep. So those are the four things. And I have um, one left to go. And Genesis, so you saw that. So actually, y'all, this is pretty good. The hours update overnight. Yesterday, when I looked, it was 34 I posted it on my community tab. Someone can go take a look and see. But I was 3,400 and something yesterday. So overnight, it updated to this 3,646. So if y'all want me to tomorrow, I'll look again. But I don't want to. <laughs> oh, Genesis Team Maggie. Yes, any playlist, any device. Oh, you guys, see, y'all just, oh, you mean so much to me. Thank you for watching and sharing and for being here. Um, this all helps. This all helps. Mm. Y'all, this is good. Ooh, when you get a little bit of that flaky sea salt in with all the goodness. Mm-hmm. 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 My little chair dance. Y'all, it's good. Can anybody Google for me how many calories are in a sopapilla just so I can compare? Because this one was like, what, 200? Let's just say 200. And I'm going to eat it. Mm. Sorry. So what questions? <clears throat> Let me scroll back and see if I missed anything. Y'all support really means the word to me. Yes, it was low budget. Y'all saw my struggle screen, sh screen share? Suzette, the counselor, class counselor, school counselor. See, every, Suzette is our school counselor. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so a sopapilla is 390 calories. So this is about half. Now I'm using whipped cream instead of ice cream. Sugar-free honey, sugar-free chocolate syrup, but you know. Every little bit helps. I don't eat these every day, but it is an option. When you have like a craving for something sweet or a craving for chocolate, you can make your own. Khalees, I don't have one minute shorts. <clears throat> I need those. Y'all, I'm old. Um, YouTube loves them and will run them for people to be looking at my culinary stuff. I learned from lead attorney. I know I need to make clips. I'm kind of paying a freelancer to do it because the other thing too, in all seriousness, you guys, I know Suzette is a content creator, 
but I live stream every day because I'm trying to get the rest of this weight off. And so every time I'm cooking, I live stream for y'all. So it doesn't give me a lot of time to be on the computer editing. So once I'm just telling you guys, once I get this monetization goal, I'm going to, I'll still live stream probably like every day, but I may not do twice a day so that I can spend some time making some of these clips. I asked the boys to do it. I got one chapter video thing and um, yeah. You like Suzette being our school counselor? Yeah, we are a proper school. Nana is the principal. I am the teacher. Y'all are the scholars. Lead attorney is professor. Suzette is the um, a school counselor. Um, when I move y'all around the kitchen with me, we go on field trips. You know, we take field trips. We do everything. We're a proper class. <laughs> Absolutely. But y'all like it. I'm just scrolling back on the comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whether you guys announce yourself or whether you guys like to ninja watch, you're all welcome here. Okay, one minute. What can I do in one minute? I have done some 60 second clips on YouTube. I need to see if I can turn those into a short. But one of the things I am gonna do, I announced it earlier. I'm gonna make, this is not the shorts, but I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna start a secret series is Malik Suzette got promoted? Suzette been promoted. She's the one who invited me on her show. Yeah, editing is a lot. Yeah, Suzette is our school counselor. Y'all know she talks about, you know, emotions and stuff and healing and all of that. I got nothing. I just make the snacks here. That's all I got. It's just me and my apron, y'all. Um, but I am going to start. I'm calling it a secret series. It's not really secret, but it's not gonna be a public video. It'll be unlisted, but I'll share it with you all. But um, I wanna do, cause I don't wanna mess up the algorithm, right? While I'm almost there, I wanna keep my cooking stuff like front and center. But um, I have so many ideas for tips for cooking, you know, for kids, for teens, for couples, for families and for singles because I've been all of those. Um, and then some of you all have asked, believe it or not, I do take etiquette and elegance training. I know it doesn't show, but um, some of you all have asked about that. So when things come up, I wanna make these little videos and I'll tuck them in and y'all will have access to them. Bloopers, yes, you guys asked for a bloopers video. I don't know why, I don't mess up anything. So, I will definitely like the custard explosion. There will be a bloopers video. I kind of, I'm trying to do everything, but since we're so close to this monetization goal, it's like, I'm like laser focused on that, but we're going to get a blooper video with a sizzle sound effect. So when y'all see me messing stuff up like these, um, tortillas, but they're still good. Y'all, they're just a little crispy, just a little crispy, but they are so good. Mm. Mm. Y'all wanted merch? I got you merch. We have adult and kid size aprons, mugs, tote bags, all of that. We did the Maggie meetup in person. Maggie meetup virtual. Sending out happy mail. Um, what else? I'm just trying to respond. The blooper reel is coming. Trying to respond. Looks good? It really is good. Little crispy. It's all right. Hmm. Oh my God. Chocolate, the cinnamon, the drizzle, whipped cream. You would eat that. And that's the thing, like, even if you don't have dietary restrictions, I hear stuff and I'm like, what? 
even if I, <laughs> Suzette likes it, even if, if you, even if you don't have dietary restrictions, I try to make food that I want to eat. We all eat with our eyes first. You would want to eat. I mean, when I'm cooking for people, of course, I tell them I'm using coconut cream instead of whipped cream. Because, you know, if you can't have coconut, then use the ready whip. If you can use, if you can have dairy, have some for me. But all of this stuff you can make with full flavor ingredients. You can get a regular tortilla, Hershey syrup, ready whip whipped cream, honey or caramel sauce, cinnamon and brown sugar. Make a nice dessert at home. And that way you don't buy a big old pie like I would. And then you're looking at it and it's looking at you. Mm. So good. Thank you, work from home wife. <laughs> Thank you, counselor. What are y'all laughing at me about? What did I do? Oh, me and my blooper reel? I don't know what I put on it. I don't think I have enough material. Yeah, that's why I just record. Whatever happens, happens. Y'all keep coming back. Two left. So I know it's getting late. We'll wrap up by 11, my time. So like 10 more minutes. I'm just scrolling back to see if I had any questions. Beautiful lie mags on the late night again. Where's the bacon? No bacon tonight. We made a sopa pia and uh, pizza. Caught it. Bacon's in the fridge. You would eat this. You <laughs> sure would. Wow, beautiful lies mad about the bacon. Sorry. I've been eating it a lot. I've seen that tipsy bartender. He does amazing cocktail shorts. Give me an idea. But how do you make them? Do you just record a one minute video and then call it a short? I don't know. Yeah, I'm familiar. I watch other people's. I just don't have any. Yeah, there's your bacon. Beautiful lie is mad about the bacon. Y'all, I try to do everything. Maybe we'll have bacon tomorrow. I look like I've been through it. Every time I cook, I look like I... um. Got in a fight with a tortilla and the tortilla won. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just scrolling back, 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 back. Congratulations to Suzette. I saw your post. You have now, what, 4,000 subscribers? That's awesome. Oh, shucks. Keep touching stuff. Okay, under 10 minutes is a short. Good to know. I didn't know. Y'all, I'm new at this. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is only four months old. So I've been cooking since 1842. But I've been on YouTube for four months. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they make them either. I'll have to look into it. It'll be on my list of things I need to do. Meanwhile... Mm-hmm. So Suzette says, yes, ma'am, thanks to my special. Let us know about this special. Are you talking about how you got your 4,000 hours? You did something special? I'd love to know what you did. Oh, your speakers. So just like you all are subscribers, Suzette subscribers are their speakers because she's Suzette Speaks. I love that. I think we came up with that. Or somebody came up with that when um, you um, interviewed me because we were shouting out to the scholars and you said something. If I remember correctly, you said something like, I need a name for my crew. And people were tossing out different ideas and you were like, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. And someone said speakers. You were like, the speakers. Yes, y'all. Shout out Suzette. Congratulations, Suzette. Yes, I've been cooking since 1842. There were no child labor laws. So when my mom was in the kitchen, my dad said, Maggie, in the kitchen.
but I'm grateful. Suzette says, yes. Aww. <laughs> Khalees says we should be cookers. So I let the scholars vote. We had a whole like informal poll one night. Did y'all want to be called the aprons and the apronettes? I think Condemia or somebody was like, I'm a man. I am not going to be an apron. And I was like, okay, we didn't know. So we did an informal poll between the, the scholars and the aprons and apronettes and the scholars won. I know, I would love for y'all to be little cookers, but you know what's funny? Some people come here who don't cook. I don't think Lee Attorney cooks. Somebody asked him, he said he doesn't cook. I think Needs Watches comes in sometimes and he doesn't cook. So I asked them, I'm like, so why do you, why do you watch a cooking show if you don't cook? And they said, we just want to watch you do it. So not everybody who's a scholar is a cooker. <laughs> it's so funny to me. It's like, I don't play golf, so I don't watch golf. I don't know, but hey, I love everybody who comes here. One of them was like, you keep cooking, so I just keep watching. That's funny, right? Oh, Khalees doesn't like cooking. That's the problem. She says, I don't like cooking, but I love food. Exactly. I love to eat. Y'all, some people are like, I don't care as long as as you know, I'm not feeling hungry. I don't care what I eat. I am the opposite. I want to enjoy. I want to enjoy how it looks. I want the presentation to be good. I want the texture. I want the smell. I want it all. I want it all. I actually saw him play. I think the last big thing that he won before his accident so y'all know I used to work for Coke and we used to have all kind of corporate events. And one of our vendors gave us tickets to the, one of the cups, I don't know, maybe it was like the FedEx cup or something like that. But we got to go in VIP and everything. It was really nice. And Tiger Woods was there swinging that ball or what is it called? A puck? No ball, right? Golf ball. I don't know. Um, but it's really impressive to see in person. Like they swing it hard. Y'all, I didn't know. Who knows this stuff? Oh, Venus and Serena, I know. Yep, almost done. Two minutes, we're gonna wrap up. If anybody has any questions, I'm gonna eat this last one. Then I'm gonna let y'all have your Saturday night. Thank you for our little Saturday night date. I don't eat late, but here I am eating late. Um, try to eat three hours before bedtime. Erin says it's called a round thing. Y'all know what I mean. I don't know these proper names. I just make it up. Oh, puck is hockey. I never said I was a sports anything. Y'all don't come here for that. Mm. Last bite. Mm. A little messy, but this would be a good like date night dessert. You can make it together. A little sticky, a little messy, a little drizzly. I'm going to hook you up. Greedy. Mm. All right. Genesis, you are most welcome, my dear. Any of my scholars 
y'all who are all here before I monetize, you are my day one scholars. If you want me to cook anything for you, let me know. Genesis thought she had to give up cheese pizza. I said, absolutely not. I'll make you a cheese pizza tonight. So this was in honor of you. I know y'all greedy. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm here for y'all. I'm here. I'm going to get you hooked up. We're going to get you cooking. We're going to get you three, four meals on rotation. Change it up a little bit. Yes. All right. Class, well, we're going to go ahead and dismiss. I'm going to clean up, turn in for the night. Um, got a little bit of a busy day tomorrow. I'll try to live stream at least once. I don't know if I'll get twice. But if my plans work out, check my community tab because you'll be I'll be out and about and you'll see what I'm doing. Can I try egg rolls? <laughs> that wrapper. That paper thin wrapper, whatever it's called, egg roll wrappers. I don't know. Ooh, maybe with the crepini. Excuse me. Yep, with cabbage and some shredded. Let me think about that. But I think I can. 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 And we're done.